think, Eve. Now, do I just let Ivy show TC those pictures of me and Julian in bed? Do I risk my husband, my children, everything I love in life to save Grace's marriage? Or do I give in to Ivy and do her dirty work? Help her to get Sam away from Grace. <sighs> Either way, I lose. But how could I live with myself if I helped to tear Grace's life apart? Eve? Honey. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, no, TC, you didn't. I was just... I know what you're doing. I know what's got you acting like this. Ivy Crane. You know about Ivy Crane? She was here earlier, remember? When you and her talked about hospital business? Yes. I completely lost it with Chad. Flew into a rage. I bet that woman thinks you're married to a madman. Sweetheart, I am so sorry. Well, I don't care what Ivy Crane thinks. You know, I went berserk. And... I'm a calm, rational man. You know that. But when something affects my family and the people that I love, all bets are off. It didn't take me long to realize this thing with Chad was a misunderstanding. But for that one split second, I could have just... It's over, honey. Yeah, baby, it is over. Chad is not a bad guy. The only bad people in this town are the Cranes. <laughs> I am so glad that my family has nothing to do with them. Well, who could that be? Well, there's only one way to find out. Run, baby! It's a raid! <laughs> what? <laughs> the chief of police is here! Everybody can relax. I'm off duty. Yes, well, I'm on duty. I've been put in charge of planning tonight's events. <clears throat> She put herself in charge. Well, it's because I'm the most qualified. And this is what I've come up with. Dinner at the Lobster Shack. You know, it's been a while since we've all been out together. Sound good? Sounds great, Eve. Sounds great. You know what? We could all use a little R&R &R today. <laughs> That'll help take my mind off things. I'm going to call my service, let them know where I'm going to be. Be right back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh. All set. Um, I'll take my car. I'll okay. Park them back here. Great. Yeah. Okay. Meet you guys outside. Sweetheart, let's put everything that happened today that was bad behind us. Let's go have a good time. Love you. Why wouldn't beat yourself up about it, TC? I mean, you're getting mad at Chad. Mm -hmm. I think it's understandable. Just the thought of somebody trying to take advantage of my daughters. I lost she. Well, you know what I really think we should be thinking about is how fortunate it is that nobody got badly hurt in the avalanche. Amen to that. But well, I don't even know why I'm looking at this because I know exactly what I want. Well, yeah, but some of the specials look interesting. Hey, have you seen anything special you want? Sweetheart. Yes. Hey, you're still not thinking about Chad and Whitney, are you? Oh, no. I think we made too much of it, TC. It wasn't a big deal. I'm sure Whitney got the message. Eve, you're, you're still not concerned about the blackmail, are you? Blackmail? It's the first I've heard of this. There's a patient at the hospital, a woman who's been under a great deal of stress, and uh, she confessed to me that she's being blackmailed. But my offer still stands, Eve. You just give me the word, and I'll start a full-scale investigation. I wish I could, Sam, but you know, it's a matter of patient confidentiality. Well, if you change your mind, you let me know. I will. Thanks, Sam. Honey, are you sure everything is okay? Because I can't shake this feeling that you're hiding something from me. Baby, what is it? There isn't anything I'm not telling you. Okay. Well, what are all these questions? I thought we came here to relax and have fun. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you upset. It's just I love you so much, and I hate when you're not smiling. I am smiling, darling. Maybe that's all I live for is to make you happy. To make sure my family is okay. You're a wonderful man, TC. Thanks, honey. But I know that lately, for the last couple of weeks, 
something's been on your mind. Now you're talking about this patient being blackmailed? Yes, I've been very worried. You know, for someone to blackmail another person, it's about as low as you can go. I mean, to hold a marriage hostage, lives. You know, we're just lucky that we don't have to worry. I mean, you and I and TC and Eve, our marriages are rock solid. Yes. Even more than I hoped for. Did you say something? <clears throat> I'm ravenous. Excuse me. I'm going to use the ladies' room. I'll be right back. God, my heart is racing. Okay, Eve. You've got to settle down. You've got to stay in control. Don't tell me you're surprised to see me. I told you I wouldn't stop till I got what I wanted. Sam. And you are going to help me get him. I'm offering you a fair price for your services, Eve. More than fair. The photos of you and Julian frolicking in bed. Ooh. Here, in case you forgot. I already told you, Ivy. I can't do that to Grace. I can't ruin her marriage. Grace never has to know about Sam and me. But if she did... Oh, all right. All right. What if it did ruin her marriage? Isn't that preferable to TC seeing these? I was there. I saw how he reacted when he discovered his daughter had spent a totally innocent night with a young man. He was ready to kill. Can you imagine how TC will react when he sees pictures of his wife with Julian Crane? The man he detests? <laughs> He's gonna kill him without a second thought to the consequences. Hello? That's a life sentence at the very least. You're not saying anything, Eve. Please don't do this, Ivy. <sighs> I'm not doing it, Eve. You are, and I don't understand why. It's a simple choice. Your marriage or Grace's. Is she more important to you than your husband and your daughters? I want an answer. Eve, I want an answer now. Well, what's it going to be, Eve? Do I walk out of here and show these photos to TC? Or do you take the deal I'm offering? The photos for your help getting Sam back. Hmm? It's a sweetheart of a deal, Eve. I'd jump at it if I could. Thank God I'm not you. The answer is no, Ivy. I won't do it. I won't ruin the life of someone that I hold dear. Well, then, okay. You've made your decision. I just hope you're prepared to live with it.